Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric, uh, here today in Loveland. Um, had a unique service call. They texted me last night. I texted them and tried to get this call in here today. But the electrical range, uh, one of the bus bars, uh, it's a terminal block, and the hot leg on the black side, the phase, bumped off and hit this doghouse here, which covers the range back side. It decided to melt through this metal housing and basically it's right here I think this pop rivet gave out but it was because this pigtail cord was put on real loose and uh, keep in mind it can only take five to ten years but over time as that heats up especially in self-clean at six to eight hours uh, that being loose that any resistance of not that not being tight can create heat over time and heat creates that carbon dust and then therefore once it starts to do that it insulates itself and then literally the electrons are not flowing properly and you can start to overheat this side of the phase and in a range always one side's a little bit higher in a phase than the other because it's running the 110 side of the electrical clock and self timers and things like that but anyways that popped off that hit here and smoldered and then it decided to burn through almost to the drywall so um, thank God the drywall has a two hour fire rating and the range had another, <laughs> I don't know if that was a two hour fire rating there, maybe she said maybe about 30 seconds, but at least something was there to protect it. So again, keeping everything in house inside of a compartment as well as even these electrical range uh, connections in this wall have to be in a two hour fire rated box. Uh, there's so many times I go to homes and there's open splices and walls, uh, especially in basements and we cannot uh, service it that way we have to find a way to junction those junctions and, and to service them if something goes wrong so the other thing is that she had a GE breaker and I'm not going to say anything bad about GE because they're a bigger company than me but um, let's just say that I put in Siemens and I put in square DQO for a reason um, this has had a little bit of issue with tripping I think it's only about five years old I didn't see any water damage in the panel so why it would have caused it any white scoring or hard hard looking water dried up on there so this house is about five years old but why it didn't snap ge slims in my opinion i've seen some of them get kind of crispy even here on the side um, they they can get warm but when you put your breakers in a panel you never want to use your range breaker next to your air conditioning breaker in these slims even in a full breaker in my opinion because your, your AC can run for six to eight hours if it's hot out and your, your range can run from an hour to cooking a pizza to six to eight hours self-cleaning. So if you got two breakers running a lot of heat in that panel next to each other, one of them is going to give out. Um, but anyways, I changed out the breaker just to be safe because I've caught these slims not breaking as easy. And she said the breaker never tripped. So when I got here, the first thing I did is I checked. Sure enough, the juice to this outlet was still running. So that's a little scary um and it didn't hit phase to phase it only hit uh, a grounded side which is your neutral to the hot conductor because the grounding conductor never got hit until it finally hit here as well and then it, it jumped but anyways guys thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week